it is easy to say that demand of an individual changes as the price increases or decreases or the supply changes as the price increases or decreases. But what is important is to measure the degree of responsiveness of the changes in the demand or the supply for a product relative to changes in price. This is called elasticity. So we already know about the meaning of elasticity. So let us discuss about elasticity of demand. So when we talk about elasticity of demand, it gives emphasis to the buyers, which is us. We are the consumers. If buyers are very sensitive to price changes, a price increase may lower the total amount paid for a good and leave the firm worse off. This is where the concept of price elasticity of demand and supplies comes in. The response of quantity demanded or QD in every percentage of price change will be known by computing the price elasticity of demand. So meaning to say that when we talk about elasticity, it is the degree how we respond as a consumer when there is change in price. Either price will increase or price also decreases. There are types of elasticity of demand. First is inelastic demand. Inelastic demand, when you are going to compute the midpoint computation of demand, if the demand is less than 1, if the elasticity is less than 1, that means 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, that is called inelastic. The value of less than 1 represents an inelastic demand. Consumer's response is less than the price change. If price increase in 1%, the demand of a consumer decreases by less than 1%. Consumers have no capacity to decrease more his demand even if there is a price increase. This kind of consumer response shows that the product is necessary, very important. And there are no ready substitutes for products like, for example, rice, sugar, electricity, and water. The inelastic demand curve will look like this. The inelastic demand curve is this one. So if you can see a demand curve which is like this, it is inelastic. Another form of inelastic is the perfectly inelastic demand or also known as zero elasticity. This graph, this graph shows that consumers will consume product and services at a certain quantity, at a certain quantity, even if the price continue to increase. So even if the price will continue to increase, Consumers are still willing to accept any price increase or changes and their quantity demanded will not change even if the price increase is continuous. Like for example, rice, water, electricity. So we are still using always those uh, product. Our quantity demand would still remain the same even if the price changes. Like, for example, gasoline, if you have a car and your house is far from school, so your uh, demand for gasoline will still remain the same, but the price of gasoline changes. That is called zero elasticity or also known as perfectly inelastic demand. So this one, we have elastic demand. Elastic demand means that your midpoint answer of the elasticity is more than one. The response of quantity demanded in every percent change in price is considered elastic when the value is more than one. For every 1% change in price, quantity demanded will decrease by more than 1%. 
For example, if the price of soft drinks increases by 1%, consumers will decrease the demand for soft drinks by more than 1% and look for alternatives like fruit juice or mineral water. Consumption can be altered when the product have many substitutes. The graph of elastic demand curve or the elastic demand will look like this. So this is elastic demand. So this is our elastic demand uh, curve. So that's it. The other one is perfectly elastic demand. It is also known as the infinite elasticity of demand or infinite elasticity. So it is infinite elasticity. Consumers are not ready to accept any price increase. The graph shows that as are willing to buy more products at a lower price. Any increase in is, is not acceptable by the consumer. If you're going to look at our price will remain the same and the demand no will continue increasing uh, it increased so the demand increased so there so from that so it increased and that is why it is called infinite elasticity Unitary demand, in the other hand, is equal to one. It is also known as unit demand. The response of the price change or to price changes is a unitary when the value of quantity demanded change in price is equal to 1%. This means that demand will decrease by 1% when there is 1% increase in price. This kind of response represents or presents among products such as candies, junk foods, beverages, and children's apparel or accessories. The graph or the curve of the unit demand is like this. Uh, this is unitary demand. So there are differences in the different graph of the elasticity of demand supply elasticity the price elasticity of supply measures the responsiveness of the producer or sellers or firms due to price change the responsiveness of quantity supply in every percentage of the change in price is classified as elastic inelastic and unitary in elastic supply, it means that price change does not result in an equivalent change in the supply because the product has many substitutes and it is not necessity. This is the curve of the inelastic supply. Inelastic supply is less than 1. If you are going to use the midpoint computation for elasticity, it is equal to less than 1 in elastic supply. The other one is elastic supply. The change of the supply is more than the percent change in price. As the price increases to 1%, the supply increases more than 1%. Producers and sellers do not, uh, do not do that because the products are necessities, even if the price increased. Consumers would still buy the basic products. Examples of these are rice, sugar, gas, electricity, water, milk, and cooking oil. Though they were very important to the consumers. Elastic supply in midpoint computation is more than one, is equal to more than one. So the graph or the curve will look like this. Unitary supply, in the other hand, if the increase in price is equal to 1, it is called unit supply. Unit supply 
curve will also look like this.